If you watch the stars at night, it appears as if the stars are moving that the Earth is completely still. This is an example of apparent daily motion and was used to justify that the Earth was the center of the universe for many years. Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science and the geocentric and heliocentric models of the universe. From the perspective of the stars moving, it is very easy to assume that the Earth is at the center of the universe. This was the accepted theory called the geocentric model for many years. Great minds like Aristotle and Ptolemy proposed and supported this view of the universe. Geocentric means Earth-centered, and it just seemed right. However, there were some problems. For example, sometimes the planets appear to be going backwards or to have a retrograde motion. In order to explain this, small orbits called epicycles, which are orbits inside the orbit, were proposed to help explain this backwards motion. This model of the Earth being the center did not sit well with Copernicus, and in 1543 he proposed on the revolutions of the celestial spheres, in which he explained what many had suspected, that the Sun is at the center of the universe, and that we move on Earth along with the other planets around the Sun. This is called the heliocentric model. He proposed that each orbit was a circle, and the Earth, like other planets, revolved around the Sun. This solved several problems, including the retrograde motion of the planets, arguing that such motion was only perceived or apparent rather than real. With the help of his telescope, Galileo Galilei discovered the moons of Jupiter and observed that small objects revolve around larger ones. Johannes Kepler proposed that the orbits of the planets were not perfect circles, but ellipses. Our planets travel in an ellipse and actually speed up when closer to the Sun and slow down when further away. The retrograde motion of the planets was explained because it is caused by the planets that move more quickly past other planets and it appears that the planet is going backwards. Sir Isaac Newton proposed his laws of motion to help explain how objects interact with the world and each other and his laws of gravity identified the responsible force behind celestial motion. We now know that the Sun is one of many stars and is not the actual center of the universe, but the planets do revolve around the sun and not the other way around. If you'd like to know more about the movement of the sun and planets, this playlist will help. Thanks for watching, and Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.